Okay, if you're into making your own machinery or equipment and you need some knobs for it, uh, for instance, on your router table or, or any other piece of machinery, there's a quick, easy way to make your own knobs. Um, I just cut out three quick samples here. This one was cut out of uh, with, a, with a hole saw, and the quarter-inch pilot bit was just the right size for what I need. Um, went all the way through, and then afterwards, I drilled a 7 16 inch hole which matches the head size on this this bolt that I'm going to put in it. Um, if you use a 7 16 inch wrench on it, that's what size hole you're going to use. And we just basically put this in here, place it in, you can see it covers the hole, and you put it on a hard surface like this, give it a couple good hits, and there you go. It's in. That's it. You're ready to go. Uh, on the other side of it, if you want the uh, male side of it uh, on here, you put the uh, put a nut on there, and you set it in there. Use the driver, drive it in like that, and you're set, ready to go. Now, if you if you have a router table or a piece of machinery, you want some threaded inserts in the bottom. Uh, I like using the, just a nut as opposed to the uh, type that you found in uh, you buy at the hardware stores. Um, they, you can put them in and they end up being flush. They don't hang off the bottom. They actually stay in a lot longer. And you can put as many of them on the bottom of whatever you're using. And then you turn it over and you got yourself a threaded insert. That's simple. Or if you need the uh, bolt to come up through your table and you want it to uh, um, fasten something on that way, you just do the same thing. Put the bolt in, hammer down, and it's ready to go. And you can use your other. other uh, knob like this. It's best to put a washer on here. It gives you a little more center surface to push on so that the whole thing isn't hitting, but it works really well. It's cheap, and it's easy, and it's quick.